I don't love just anyone I am not just anyone I rock heels, I rock Jordans And I wear wigs and rock my natural Can you believe he says I'm pretty for a dark skin? He was dark skin I bought some Hennessy for these niggas Wonder if they love their mother Hey Swoochies! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Samaya and this is Imani. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Today is going to kick start our nine day Greek marathon. So we're doing nine day spotlighting MPHC organizations for each video. And um, in each video we're going to answer some of your guys' most asked questions or things that you guys wanted to know most about Greek life. It's been like a month or two since I've done a Greek video, so I have plenty of ideas from you guys. And so today's video, we're going to be talking about the perks of being in a sorority, as promised, because we did the cons of being in a sorority, and I'll link that so you guys can check that out as well. But today we're going to be doing the perks of being in a sorority. And if you guys don't know, I'm a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And I'm a member of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. We're both um, from the Tuskegee University chapters, uh, Theta Beta chapter. Epsilon Theta chapter. Yeah, and so um, we're going to be doing two different videos for you guys. But today, our first video is going to be the sorority perks. But before we get started into the video, as promised, we're going to do our spotlight um, on an Greek organization today and so the first spotlight is going to be Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated which is the first black Greek letter organization in the MPHC and I'm going to show some clippings of um, some of their notable members as well. So the first perk of being a member of Greek organizations is professional development. Right. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy about being a member of uh, Greek life is the fact that you kind of get thrust into this realm of professional development. You get to be part of like leadership positions and actually be a part of like making an organization run smoothly. Um, at the chapter level, at the local level, state level, or national level. So that's really cool. That's one of the main benefits that I really enjoy from being a part of a sorority. Uh, definitely uh, to touch on that. Just being able to like plan your own events, uh, learn how to carry yourself as a professional. Um, you always uh, have to carry your organization so you learn how to carry yourself the best way that you possibly can. Um, and that carries on to the... Uh, the business side as well of life so um, a lot of professional development learning how to talk to others mm -hmm. uh, in a professional setting um, how to communicate with others as a team um, and how to run a business really because sororities are businesses yeah absolutely they're incorporated so yeah. uh, being able to uh, be able to run it as a business smoothly and getting along with everybody is definitely a huge thing that you learn mm -hmm. when you join you can learn also like uh, more in depth like you can learn about budgeting and financing through your organizations because we do have like treasurers and chapter budgets and that sort of thing and so you can learn about stuff like that if that was something that you know you didn't know much about before you can become very organized um, also like if you weren't as organized before you definitely that's a skill that you kind of gain being a member of definitely. one of these organizations <laughs> Um, cause there's a lot of paperwork involved and um, a lot of planning involved and that sort of thing. And um, the one of the things about being in these organizations is you have to keep uh, the paperwork and the, all of like the um, the forms and stuff because you pass it down to the next members so that they can also keep the business going. So it's very very big on organizing. Definitely. All right. So the next thing is networking. Networking is huge. huge. Uh, the Greek life is so broad. There's so many members, and you have no idea when you'll meet one. Uh, or need one. <laughs> yeah, or need one, exactly. Where you can just say, hey, um, D9 family, is there anybody yeah. who is available to help me with this or knows anything about that? And no matter what organization, they're going to be like, yeah, hit me up. You know, mm -hmm. we're all kind of family. So networking is a huge, like, 
pro. Like it's yeah, that's amazing. like one of the biggest. <laughs> other than like family, like that's one of the biggest because um, as a collegiate, you know, student, um, your your main goal in college is to create a career or a future for yourself. And networking is so huge in that um, it just opens more doors for you because uh, whereas like maybe you wouldn't have had access to certain things before, you may now know someone personally who can kind of like help you out. Um, they can they can uh, motivate you, mentor you, or groom you to be in a position um, that you might not have had access to before. So it's actually like one of the dopest uh, perks of being in the sorority, in my opinion. Definitely. I've had interviews where they're like, hey, I saw in your resume that you're in this organization I already know you can lead and do this or mm -hmm. I already know that you're capable of putting in work for this company so the networking is really a huge thing no matter what organization we're all a big family so everybody's going to help each other out yeah. and it's all over the world it's not yeah. limited to your back <clears throat> backyard and so that's another thing that's like really good because you can literally travel to a different country and still have some of the same networking experience there. Okay, so the next one is family. And that was the one that I said was like pretty much up there with networking as far as like the top perks for joining a, a sorority or a fraternity if you're interested in a fraternity. Um, family. Um, for me, in particular, like personally, I came out here with no family here, no biological family here. I travel all the way across the country. Like, I'm originally from the West Coast, so now I'm down south in Alabama. So I literally had nobody. I had to start over, gain new friends, meet new people. And so for me, um, joining the organizations that I became a part of, that was a family away from home. And um, and it literally, like, it works exactly like how a family would. It, it's the same structure. You know, if I'm hungry, they feed me. If I need a place to stay, they'll house me. If I just need to talk to somebody, they're there. So um, family is, like, a huge perk, especially when you're, like, traveling somewhere different or you're in a new setting or you just really just need, like, family to lean on. You just need that kind of support. It's a huge perk. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, my, all my families, you know, West Coast too, <laughs> so uh, definitely coming here. I was wouldn't say I was looking for a sense of family, but it definitely helped uh, to be a part of an organization where you're like, hey, I need help, and they will drop everything to help you, like a family should. I mean, we're family. We have yeah. our little quarrels and our fights or whatever. Oh yeah. But we're we're still we're still like a big family, and it's just like like we said. You reach out to anybody in the in the Greek world and family if you really need mm -hmm. it, they will be there to help you, and that's a huge thing. So it's like you have a family on campus, and you have a family everywhere in the yeah, world, really. Absolutely. So it's it's an amazing feeling to just be able to call somebody up and be like, hey. Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> yeah. And you can just have that bond just like that. Yeah, or just to hit someone up and be like, hey, I'm going to be in Georgia this week. Is any anybody in the org going to be down there? Right. Can we link up, have lunch? You know, you have somebody to, like, hang out with if you're visiting. Or even if you just need a place to stay. Because um, there's been times where I couldn't afford a hotel, but I was traveling somewhere. Um, and people who I've never met before has housed me because we share the same letters or you know their family like and i might not have ever met them before but they open their homes to me they'll feed me and they'll give me a place to stay and bathe <laughs> yeah. you know and so like that's that's dope to me because that was something completely new to me i never knew that that was like a thing but that like, that's one of the really great perks of being a part of greek life also Definitely. all right so the next one is get free discounted entry to events and parties. Yeah. So, yeah, we do <laughs> get into, like, parties and stuff for free, um, which is nice. Uh, I've been at a job before, and someone was like, hey, you're just your own. I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, lunch is on me. Like, it's, it's stuff yeah. like that, like... It, it helps. It sometimes you need to get it that, that yeah, for free. Sometimes, you, sometimes don't. you don't. Sometimes it's like, do I want to pay five dollars yeah. <laughs> before eleven? You know yeah. what I mean. So that is a it's a nice social perk to have. Yeah, it is. Sometimes like you get to you know skip the line, or you could just go to the front and be like, hey family, walk right on through. <laughs> you know. So it is. That's a nice perk to have too. I don't go out much, but when I do, I make sure it's to those events where I'm gonna get in for free or discounted. To be honest, um, if I gotta pay full price i'm not going no, no. <laughs> i can't go <laughs> but yeah like that's that's a really cool part of it too like it's you know that's the fun part yeah that's so. the social part I, there's many parties where i'm like uh greeks in for free or yeah. can i 
you know, discount, you know, couple dollars, right? You know, yeah. Stuff like so that. it's 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 a good perk to have. Yeah. It's Unfortunately, it doesn't extend to friends and family of Greeks. It does but, not. <laughs> but you know, as long as I get it, I got you later. <laughs> right. Basically. Okay, the next one is gets you out of your shell. I think that we both can kind of relate to this one on a really strong level. Definitely. <laughs> I am, I, I've told you guys several times on the channel, I'm an introvert. I like to be to myself. I like to be alone. I love alone time. Like, no company is better than my own, generally speaking. But um, being a part of these organizations, it got me out of my shell. It made me interact with people I would probably never have chosen to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and it kind of like open me up a lot to different personalities and just to different experiences, things that I probably would never have tried or did. Um, so it got me out my shell because, you know, I can be shy. I could be, like, boxed in and, and stick to my norm. Um, but it makes me just want to try different stuff. So Yeah. So I'm not super introverted, but I definitely like to keep to myself and my close uh, friends. And uh, joining the organization definitely kicked me out of that. <laughs> um, between step shows and performances oh, and God. forums and just being the face of something, I have to be out here like all the time. Yeah. And especially in my leadership role that I have now, I'm everywhere. And I can't even afford to be shy at this point. I yeah. have to do something. So it definitely broke me out of my shell, which is an excellent thing because you can't always be, yeah. you know silent and by mm -hmm. yourself you definitely have to learn how to talk to people interact with people from everywhere and just be comfortable as yourself and just being out there so yeah. it helps it's hard yeah. it's a big part of recruitment yeah. too so definitely. it's kind of like if you want your organization to grow and to excel you kind of just kind of have to like swallow the bullet <laughs> and just <laughs> and just learn how to how to yeah. like talk to people and be around people and stuff like that like I was always good with talking to people like in a setting like this like just like talking but as far as like social settings I was always like standoffish in the corner but now it's like oh I'm strolling everybody's looking at me like oh there's that Zeta and I, the attention lord <laughs> Like, I still Man. get nervous at stroll-offs and, you know, step shows yeah. and stuff like that. I still get nervous because I'm just like, I'm not a performer. I'm just doing this because we need somebody to do it. <laughs> Man, strolling by yourself oh, God. on a campus. Yeah. Me. So, I'm one of the most introverted, like, people when it comes to social aspects, as I said. And I'm the only one here. So, guess who's at all the events? And guess who's <laughs> at every party? And guess who has to stroll by themselves? Like, it's crazy because I never thought that this would have to be me. Like, if you told me four years ago, I would have been like, nah. <laughs> Not me. Pick somebody else. But yeah. here I am, like, in every single party. Yeah. <laughs> every yeah. single event, like open house in front of I don't know how many people had to stroll in front of so myself. Many Parents, so crazy. prospective students, everything. Yeah. Other Greeks. Yeah. Who will talk about you. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> like I said, it's a big part of recruitment. So Definitely. it's like everything depends on like how well you do publicly and so Yeah. Yeah. You just kinda gotta bite the bullet and Take you eventually two. adjust and adapt to it to be honest. It's not like it's really not as torturous as I'm making it sound. <laughs> you <laughs> well for me anyway I like I just adjusted and adapted to it and then it kind of just became part of the norm like I'm used to it I still don't get used to all the stares to be honest like I still am not used to people just looking at me I prefer somebody to just come up and say something to me than to just stare at me that's still awkward it's, I don't know what but I'm used to talking to people now so yeah I'm getting used to seeing myself on everybody's snapchat oh so. yeah <laughs> now that's weird that is so weird I'm like do yeah. I really look like that like oh yeah. no but I mean overall it's, it's fine like yeah. introverts you'll get out your shell and it's not a horrible feeling like it's you'll not. learn like hey I can do this and I, can, I don't have to be by myself yeah it feels good to like challenge yourself in that way sometimes yeah alright holds you to a higher standard yeah, that could be good yeah. and bad yeah. to an extent. It's, it's, a, it's a pro and a con. Yeah, um, so it was in the other video as yeah. well. <laughs> um, it's a pro because you need to set yourself to a higher standard. You can't always be complacent in where you are. And so I think that gives you a boost up to, okay, I was here. I was just doing this. But now, okay, I need to set myself higher, set higher goals, do other things to make myself, you know, move forward in life. Because mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be complacent. And definitely... 
pushes you forward to get to that person that you're going to be later on. Mm -hmm. So definitely a plus of just it goes along with professional development. Like yeah. you, you set yourself to a higher standard because you are that great. You are, yeah. you know, that person that you aspire to be. So it just it kind of propels you a little mm -hmm. bit. Like yeah, it promotes, <laughs> it promotes you to be like your best possible self. And to like grow into your potential, basically. Mm -hmm. And then when you have these standards set for you, then you have like guidelines and things like that. Um, it allows you, like I said, to grow into your better self because now you know what is expected of you. It could be your own expectations of yourself or it could be your organization's expectations of yourself. But now you have these expectations set. So you don't, like she said, get complacent and just want to kind of just stand in, stay in one place or stay like, you know, uh, childish or whatever. You you grow, you mature. Yeah. And it also, you're a leader on this campus now, whether you like it or not. And that's yeah. good. People can see, people can see, hey, you're doing something. Hey, like, you're actually out there and, you know, you're a leader on this campus or in your and job. Outside and outside of the campus, yeah. Off campus, like, people see, people look up to you. And, you know, even though it sounds scary, like, that's a good thing. That's a good thing it to is. have to be like, okay, yeah. I can step up and do this. So that's yeah. definitely a great trait. It have. puts you in a position to to mold young minds into definitely. like make them better or want to be better. So it's a good feeling. Like it could be a bad feeling if you're not a good influence. <laughs> but if you're a good influence, it's a great feeling to have young yeah. girls and young boys look up to you and say, You inspired me or you made me wanna challenge myself or do better, you know, like that's a great feeling to have. Yeah, so Okay, another perk is traveling. That was something that I low-key mentioned a little bit, but that's honestly one of my favorite things because I love road tripping with my sisters. It is so much fun. Like <laughs> I don't know why it is so fun, but that's one of my favorite things to do. It's a little expensive, though, because you know the gas. But, but it's fun. <laughs> we be broke, but we be having fun, right. okay? Yeah, so, like, I just like to, you know, we sit in the car for hours. We're, we're eating. We're singing. We listen to music on full blast. You know, we're having a good time laughing and stuff. Then we get to where we're going. We meet up with other um, Greek members and stuff. And then it's kind of like a big, huge family reunion. And that is so dope to me. Like, it's like a bunch of people that travel from all these different locations. And you're like, oh, where are you from? Oh, oh, okay, from here, where are you from? And then you see the difference of Greek culture from campus to campus, state yeah. to state. Like, it is not the same everywhere you go. And that's, that's interesting, too, to kind of, like, learn yeah. that. I mean, yeah, traveling is great. I've been on one road trip. That was a memorable road trip. But it, uh, we've been on one road trip and just also, like, conferences. Oh, yeah. Your conference could be from, like, from Florida, which was where I was last mm -hmm. year, to Indiana, where we were founded, uh, to all types of places that you would never think you're even yeah. going to go. Like, it's just one of those things where you, your sorority or fraternity is going to take you somewhere. Yeah. And you kind of have to go. But new it's a, places, yeah, new, new places, places that you've never been, and it's it, it's an amazing experience because you're just like I never thought, thought I would come here. Yeah, yeah. even you're though like, I'm well, here, I would yeah. never have come here. Even though you're in here for a conference or what have you, like you're doing something with the organization, like you're still somewhere you've mm -hmm. never been. So that's an amazing thing. To yeah, have absolutely. Not everybody gets to travel. So. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. that's literally probably one of my favorite perks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Because before I became a member, I did not go far. Like, I, you might catch me two hours away, but I was not. I wasn't going too far. But, like, once I became a member, I'm like, where are we road tripping? Are we going somewhere? Like, well, they got a probate in Mississippi. Let's go. Like, we going just for a few hours, but we yeah. driving hours away to go to a show for two hours and come back. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. But it's just really fun. You go to a lot of probates, too. I do. I, I don't. Like, I just... I travel a lot anyways, so this, yeah. that probate business is just me. Yeah, I go to a lot of probate, <laughs> yeah. step shows, different stuff like that. Like, I'll travel to conferences, obviously. But, yeah, I just I, we'll just be like, let's just get in the car and go. And, and I don't know, we have a good time. But oh, my yeah. sisters all like to yeah. travel, too, so that's a good thing, too. Because if they didn't, i kind of be on my own with that. <laughs> Especially the Greek picnics. Because oh they're my God. everywhere. AGP. AGP, TGP, which is Texas. You have Midwest they have Greek. They Cali Greek picnic. Cali Greek. Everywhere, man. Yeah. And that's just 
all the Greeks, especially mm -hmm. AGP, but you get to travel just to go to those different picnics. So it's just like, yeah. that's an opportunity in itself to road trip. And they're like week long events. It's yeah. Really, it's really cool. Oh, like, everybody. It's, 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 that's, a, that's a family reunion right yeah, now. Yeah, for real though. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> then you see all the people you've seen on Instagram that you never met in real yeah. life, but you was like, oh my God, you oh. Instagram famous. <laughs> I seen Duck one time. I was like, oh, oh yeah. I seen <laughs> Yeah, so you see all the people you see on like Instagram and YouTube, and you're like, hey, I didn't see you on social media, but you're yeah. here. Yeah. Community service and reaching out to other people. So um, that's huge for me. I've always loved community service and um, giving back to community uh, because not everybody's as fortunate. So uh -huh. I love giving back and, you know, doing something for a community that not a lot of people are doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a lot of, a lot of, just natural projects that these organizations have are so like there's so many of them you know what I mean? yeah and you have no idea like how that's affecting the community but we do a lot of community yeah. service and it's just like wow you actually can see yourself doing something mm -hmm. important and reaching out and helping young kids or adults or yeah. anybody in your community it is that's really a fulfilling moment oh God, yeah. really to just see <laughs> yeah. like okay we're actually doing something that's not just for the hype we're actually out here so that's yeah. just good in itself really i actually got the chance to be uh well what is like the community service chair from our organization and that was like one of the best uh leadership roles that i've ever held it was it was difficult because you know it's a lot that goes into it, but it was exciting too because I got to pick and choose what service activities we would do and what was more meaningful and impactful to me or to my community that I live in, and and that was really exciting just to see like what exactly we're doing, where the hours are going, where the money's going, and having all these people say thank you and and. You know, just all these people who are really appreciative of the service that you do. I know a lot of people on campuses of, you know, everywhere, they um, question what Greek life does for the community. Or sometimes yeah. they feel like they don't see it visibly. Um, but the Greek life actually does a lot of community service without uh, broadcasting it or putting yeah. our name on it. Because that's not what the service is about, you know. Right. Um, you may see us do some things that are broadcasted because it's usually like on campus or something, but the mm -hmm. things that we do off campus in these other communities, we might not say or broadcast to everybody, but it's just so fulfilling to us and yeah. we don't need the recognition yeah. from uh, the outside world. But just know, work is being done. <laughs> we out here. Like, we out here. Work, work is doing being it. done. You wouldn't even know how much we yeah, do. We do a we lot. Do a lot. A lot. Our time is not our own. We give our time faithfully to everyone else. I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. <laughs> right. Um, we kind of touched on being an influence and a leader, uh, so I'm not going to say too much about that. But that's like one of the great perks also. You can be an influence and a leader on your campus as well. Um, I don't know if like many of you got how it works on y'all campus, but on our campus, I notice a lot of times that people are in the leadership positions like Mr. and Ms. TU, SGA presidents, and things like that, or, you know, just anything that is a spokesperson for the campus, um, they usually are also part of Greek life, yeah. um, and that's because leadership plays a major role in Greek life, like, we want to be hands-on and really, like, dive into those things, and make an impact in our communities and on our campus hands-on. So a lot of times you'll see those people in those leadership roles. I mean, leadership kind of goes hand-in-hand because you have to, you want to be a leader, you need to show your leadership skills just because you want to also show the best foot of the, of the organization. Yeah. Like, to have representation, like, yeah, so-and-so is part of this organization and they're, you know, Mr. T.U. or yeah. they're doing this, they're SGA president. Like, that's important because you're you're giving that reputation to your organization mm -hmm. and helping it grow so leadership is a huge thing because everybody's watching you so you need to be a leader instead absolutely. of <laughs> absolutely <laughs> all right so this last one is sense of accomplishment so there's always a sense of accomplishment when you do something but you know it's definitely it, it, it hits you in the feels when you finally yeah. do something that you always want to do. Right. <laughs> yeah. That you always want to do that you as a child that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Or if you're, you're or a even family. even over a course of a couple years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's a great sense of accomplishment. Like, I did it. You know, yeah. because it is a hard thing to accomplish. Mm -hmm. You have to get and Not everybody it. is chosen. Not nope. everybody makes it. So. Right. It's, it's a job interview. 
basically. And it's just like when you finally get that job, that's how it feels. Like yes, yeah, I finally got it, and it's all it's something that's always gonna be with you. So it's just like that sense of pride mm-hmm. that you get, like when you're like, yeah, I, I have it. it. Yeah, I saved right. my uh, acceptance <laughs> letters. I got them day in a little. A little um book. I got my acceptance letters. The envelope. It came yeah. in. It's a special, special moment for me. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. that's really important. And that's a really great perk, also. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of our perks of being in Greek life. Um, thank you for coming. Oh, on. no problem. <laughs> and uh, if you guys will check the description box below, you can see her social media accounts and her YouTube channel will also be linked. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for the next installment of our uh, nine-day marathon of Greek life. Stay tuned for what's next, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Smooches! I heard you. She got that water.